Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we have something a little bit different. We have this knit summer sweater. I did a poll many, many months ago and I asked you guys if you want to see some knit patterns and over 80% of you said yes. Don't worry, this pattern is really, really easy. There's no increasing or decreasing. So it's it, it really is perfect for a beginner. In this tutorial, I do a size small for all other sizes check out my blog crochetwithcarry.com For this sweater you're going to need a weight 3 or a DK yarn. I used drops cotton light and I used about 5 to 6 balls. You're also going to need 10 millimeter knit needles. I used a circular needle but you can also use a straight needle, it's completely up to you. I just find the, the circular needles are easier to work with. And you're also going to need six millimeter knit needles. Again, you can use circular needles or straight needles, it's completely up to you. The front panel and the back panel are identical. So we're going to start off by leaving a very long tail, maybe about 25 inches. And then we're going to make a slip knot. Then you're going to take one of your larger needles and you're going to insert that into your loop and then just pull your tail slightly. Then with your long tail you're going to hold it in your hand just like this. So just grab it like that in between your four fingers, then grab your thumb and loop it around your yarn. Then take your needle and insert it just right through the loop here. Then grab the yarn that's attached to your ball and you're going to wrap that in between your needle and your thumb. Then lift your thumb over your needle and pull that needle through that loop and then take out your thumb and then just pull slightly. So now you have two stitches on your needle we need a total of 55 so grab your tail, wrap your thumb around, insert your needle through that loop, then grab the yarn attached to your ball, wrap it around your needle Then pull your needle through that loop and then take your thumb out of that loop and then just pull slightly. So you're going to repeat that until you have a total of 55 stitches. So now we have our 55 stitches, just make sure that they're all facing the same way. And you should hold your stitches on your left hand. So the first row is going to be a knit row. So we're going to grab our second needle. And we're going to insert it into our first stitch. So just insert it through that first stitch. Then you're going to grab your yarn and you're going to wrap that yarn around your right needle. Then you're going to pull that needle through that loop. And then we're going to lift it over our left needle. So that's our first knit stitch done. So we're going to repeat that again. Insert it into the next stitch. Wrap the yarn around your needle. Pull your needle through that loop. And then lift that loop over the left needle. So you're going to repeat that down along every stitch to the very end.
Here I am just finishing off that last row. So that first row will look like this. Your stitches will look a little bit crazy to begin with, but don't worry, it'll all settle out once you do a few more rows. So for the next row, we're going to do a purl row. So we're going to hold our stitches in our left hand, then grab the other needle. And instead of going up the way, with the knit stitch we went up the way, with the purl stitch, we point the needle down the way. Then grab your yarn and wrap it around that right needle. And then you're going to pull that needle through that loop. And then lift the loop off your left needle. So that's your first purl stitch. So insert your hook down the way. Wrap your yarn around that right needle, pull the needle through that loop and then lift the loop off your left needle. So you're going to repeat that through every stitch to the very end. At the end of the row, your piece will look like this. This is the wrong side. It has little ridges. So for every wrong side, we're going to purl. Then when we turn it around, this is going to be our right side. And for every right side, we're going to knit. The right side will look like, I don't know, little V's, I suppose. So for every right side, we're going to knit. For every wrong side, we're going to purl. So just insert your needle through that first stitch, wrap the yarn around, pull your needle through that loop and then lift that loop over the left needle. And you're going to knit every stitch to the very end. And then the next row is going to be a purl row. So turn your piece around. And for the purl stitch, make sure that you point down the way. Then wrap your yarn around your needle, pull the needle through and then lift that loop over your left needle. So you're going to make a purl stitch in every stitch to the very end and then you're going to repeat these two rows. You're going to alternate between a knit row and a purl row until your panel is long enough. I want it 22 inches. You're going to measure from your shoulder to where you want the top to end. So I went with 
about 21 22 inches but it's completely up to you just alternate between your knit row and your purl row your last row is going to be a purl row So when you're happy with the length of your panel, I went for 22 inches and the last row I completed was a purl row. We're going to start casting off. So to cast off, we're just going to knit two stitches, just like we did the knit stitch before. So we have two stitches here and then we're going to pass this loop over. So just grab your loop and pull it over the other loop and then you're just going to drop it off your needle. So knit the next stitch. We have two loops on our needle and then just pass that loop over the other loop and let it fall off the needle. So knit the next stitch. Pass the first loop over the second loop and let it fall off your needle. So you're going to continue that all the way across and once you reach the end you're just going to have one loop on your needle and you're going to just tie a knot around that loop just to secure your piece. So once you've cast it off, your piece will look like one giant square. This is the right side. Your stitches would look like V's. And then the wrong side, your stitches will have little ridges. So you're going to go ahead and make a second square. the, the same way. Both the front panel and the back panel are the same. So now we're going to start our sleeves and we're going to start off using our 6mm needles. We're going to grab our yarn and we're going to leave a long tail, maybe about 15 inches. And then we're going to make a slip knot. And we're going to grab one of our needles and then insert that needle through the loop. And we're going to cast on a total of 37 stitches. So, so far that slip knot counts as your first stitch. So we're going to cast on another 36 stitches. So altogether we have 37. So here I have 37 stitches. So for the first row, we're going to knit every stitch. So just like before, hold your stitches in your left hand. And then with the other needle in your right hand, we're going to insert our needle upwards into that first stitch. Then wrap the yarn around our needle pull the needle through the loop and then lift the loop over the left needle. So you're going to knit every stitch to the very end. Here
Here I am just finishing off that first knit row. So for the second row we're going to knit every stitch again so you're going to have a total of two knit rows. So just turn your needles around, make sure you're holding the stitches on your left hand and then with the needle in your right hand we're going to insert into that first stitch. Make sure we insert upwards. Wrap the yarn around your needle, pull that needle through the loop and then lift the loop off your left needle. So go ahead and knit every stitch to the very end. So now I have a total of two knit rows completed. So just turn your work around. And then we're going to drop the needle in our right hand. And we're going to take our bigger needle. So take one of our 10 millimeter needles. So just need one needle, one of our 10 millimeter needle and then we're going to knit every stitch so just insert your 10 millimeter needle into that loop and then just do a knit stitch so just wrap your yarn around that needle pull the needle through the loop and then lift the loop off our left needle so we're basically going to be transferring all the stitches from the smaller needle onto our bigger needle. So go ahead and knit every stitch to the very end. Here I am towards the end of the row. I'm just doing my last knit stitch. So now all our stitches are on our bigger needle. So now we can just get rid of our smaller needles. We won't need them anymore. We're just going to be working completely on the bigger needles. So for the next row, we're going to purl every stitch. So insert your hook downwards, wrap your yarn around your needle, pull the needle through the loop and then lift the loop off the left needle. So we're going to purl every stitch to the very end. And that's basically it for the sleeve. You're going to alternate between a knit row and a purl row. And you're going to continue until your sleeve measures about 18 inches long. Make sure that the last row you complete is a purl row. And then we're going to fasten off just like we did with the front panel and the back panel. It's the same way. So this is what our sleeve looks like. The sleeve just basically looks like one large rectangle. I did 18 inches. If you want a longer sleeve, just add more rows. But make sure that the last row you complete is a purl row and then we're going to fasten off just like we did with the front and the back panel. So now just go ahead and make your second sleeve the same way. Now we're going to start sewing our pieces together. So lay one panel with the right side facing up. Then put your second panel on top with the wrong side facing up. And then with our yarn needle, we're going to sew about six and a half inches on each side. If you want a bigger neckline, just sew less for the shoulders on each side.
So now you're going to lay your entire piece out flat. Make sure that the wrong side is facing up. Your wrong side will have little ridges just like this. Then you're going to take one of your sleeves and you're going to fold it in half. Make sure that the wrong side is facing out. And where it folds, that's your middle stitch. So the fold is here. Just take note of your middle stitch. Then grab a stitch marker and just mark that stitch. And then we can open out our sleeve again. Make sure the wrong side is facing up. And then there's the wrong side. We're going to line that stitch marker up with our shoulder seam. So there's our shoulder seam. So we're going to connect our stitch marker just right there at the shoulder seam. And just lay your piece out flat. And then with your long tail and your yarn needle, we're just going to sew all the way across. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. Once both sleeves are attached, we're going to fold our top over and we're going to sew down along the sides, making sure that the wrong side is still facing outwards and then do the same on the other side. So now all you have left to do is just turn your sweater the right side out and you can wear your sweater with pride. Don't forget the free written pattern is on my blog crochetwithcarry.com. If you want to see more knit patterns just let me know in the comments down below. Until next time, take care.